Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to make this sticky vertical menu using Elementor and Elementor Pro. So when we will scroll the page, this vertical menu will be sticky. So let's start. I have installed a new WordPress on this slash demo folder. And I am using this Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin only and the classic editor for the themes I'm using Elementor Hello theme but this will work any theme of your choice and I have already created this menu with some hash links so first of all we need to add a page so go into pages add new just give it a name I'm calling it home and select the template as default template let's publish this now if we view our page at the moment this will look like this because we don't have any header or vertical menu at the moment so let's make our vertical menu so we need to go into templates then add new For the type of template you need to select single and for the post type will be page, it will be single page. Just give it a name. These are some pre-built layouts. So first of all at the left bottom click on settings the page and select the page layout to elementor canvas now i will select the structure this will be the suitable one i will make it full width full section for the first column i will give it 12 percentage of width and for the whole section for the column gap, I will select no gap. Height will be fit to screen. As you can see in the sample, this menu is fit to screen. Now we need to stretch these columns as well. We will go into column position, which is at my middle at the moment. We will make it stretch. For this first column, I will add a background color you can add any color of your choice now I will add an image or logo I have already uploaded this logo I will make it full and under style I will give it a percentage of 65% Yes, and for the column, I'll go into advance. I will add a padding in percentage of 10%. 10% left, right, top, and bottom. Now I will select the nav menu widget to add the menu underneath the logo. I'll just drag and drop. It will select the menu which I have already created, this one. So first of all let's give it a color of white, alignment will be center and you can choose any animation on hover like at the moment it's underline, you can choose double line or framed as well, I will choose none, I will go into style text color is white is ok for the weight I will add 400 I will transform it to uppercase that's ok now and we need to add some vertical padding I think 25 will be ok yes 
at the bottom I will add some social media links so just search social you can also add the copyrights now I will make it circle and for the size that 15 yes now I will go back into the column setting or into this column and in the layout we need to select the vertical align to space between so now that the logo is at the top the menu is in the middle and the social icons are at the bottom now for this column we need to add this post content widget this is very important because if we don't add this post content widget we will not be able to add the content into our pages so we need to select this post content widget for this column now for tablet and mobile devices I will make a separate menu I will use the same color just copy it make it full width add this color and background now we will switch to tablet mode copy the logo paste it align it to left for the width we will add 50% yes it's ok also I will copy this menu I will paste it here and for the columns vertical alignment I will select to middle for both columns and for this toggle button I will align this to right and we need to make it full width because if we don't make it full width so when we will click on the toggle button it will expand this other column as well so we don't want this so we will make it full width now let's style this toggle button a little bit go to styles toggle button for the color I will give it white color yeah that's ok now now we will switch to mobile for the first column I will give it 60% width and for the second column I will add 40% of width here yeah, it's ok now so we will switch back to desktop and this section we created for mobile and tablet we need to hide this for desktop so we will go into advanced and that is sponsor hide on desktop and for this section we only need to hide this column for mobile and tablet devices we don't need to hide the second column because we have the post content visit in it which will show the page content so I will click on this column I will go into advanced and the responsive I will hide this for tablet and mobile also need to switch this to tablet and this column we need to make it 100% width because we want to make the other column 100% as well same for mobile I will just publish this click on publish by default it will select pages and all pages we need to select this so just save and close now if we go back to the home page we created if we refresh this page we will have this vertical menu for our page 
so let's add some content in this page I will edit it with Elementor for this tutorial I will import a pre-built layout pre-built template let's choose this one Just insert this. It will take few seconds. Let's check it out. Yes, the complete template is imported. But you see that this vertical menu is not sticky at the moment. When we scroll, the vertical menu is also scrolling. So we need to make it sticky. First of all, just update this. And to make this menu sticky, we need to add a plugin. So I will go into plugins, add new. Just search sticky menu. need to install this plugin sticky menu or anything on scroll just install this plugin and activate this it will show under settings and sticky menu or anything so first of all in the template we are creating here it is so we need to add a class for this column so we will make this column sticky so I will go into advanced for this column I will add a class you can call it anything I will call it call underscore sticky and just copy this class first of all update this And copy this class go to the plugins under setting sticky menu or anything click on it and here you need to add the class just paste the class here add dot at the beginning dot and that then class name don't need to add anything else just save the settings Now if we refresh our page, and if we scroll, see our menu is sticky now. But there is a little bit of white space at the bottom, so we need to remove it and we need to make it full height. So we just need to add one line of CSS code. So we'll go back into the template we were creating and here just copy the class in this column and under custom CSS add this class and add the height of 100 vh for this under vertical height so just update this Now if we refresh our page, now you can see our vertical menu has full height and it is fit to screen and sticky as well. So this is a little bit below the screen. This is actually we are viewing it in the editor mode. So if we go into the edit profile and if I uncheck this show toolbar when viewing the site and save the setting now if we refresh now 
Uh, you can see our vertical menu is fit to screen and when we scroll the menu is sticky so this is how you create a vertical menu in a wordpress using elementor and elementor pro so i hope you will like this video and if this video helps you in any way just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel this is my first youtube video and i hope i will be making more videos on wordpress and on elementor so yeah, see you in the next video.